It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans, Whoa. and they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mom, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my! She cried. But, but mom, they're magic beans. Oh, magic schmagic. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh, man! Climbed those twisty vines so high And found a castle in the sky Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place A big fat giant with an ugly face Came thumping in so very loud Shook the heavens and the clouds fee fi fo fum I smell a boy Yum, yum, yum! was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big gold giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! He said, the giant's pride. After five, feet five, four, four, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Feet five, four, four, ready or not, here I come. Oh, oh, oh. Yikes. <gasps> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops. <laughs> Wrong story. Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white lid. The giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off, never, never ever to be found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast, and neighbors came from near and far. The harp played songs and sang along. Jack, you are a shining star. Jack, you are a star. So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs. Oh, but you could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Okay. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit. Grand for a short little spell. Now remember, don't talk to any strangers. <gasps> I promise. Mama gave Red some special teas. Grandma's very favorite cheese. But in the woods, a wolf stopped Red. Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not 
really supposed to talk to you. But I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> The wolf sneaked into Grandma's place I'll hide you so there's not a trace He locked her in, got into bed With Granny's nightcap on his head Help me! Poor Granny cried Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red and she walked right in Oh, I've been wondering how you've been <laughs> I'm, I'm okay But she sounded weird uh, Granny said Oh, oh, oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have? And Granny, what big eyes you have? And Granny, what big teeth you have? The better, my dear, to eat you with. <gasps> The better to eat you with. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends! Uh, huh. <laughs> Well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now, she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson uh -huh. He sure did And they sent him away and he never came back See what happens to big bad Bullies? Indeed. Now, what's the moral of the story? <gasps> Never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs>Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Because sometimes it can get real slow watching all this green grass grow.
just not nice. You lied to us. <laughs> it was just a joke. The villagers were not happy. But the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. <laughs> One fine day while with his flock A wolf appeared, the boy was shocked He cried out to the village folks Help me please, this is not a joke Ah, la -di da Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do But no one paid attention then Thought it was a joke again They ignored the shepherd's plea Just relaxed and drank their tea No one came. The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore. The boy came running into town. Everybody gathered round. He's the one who made us mad. I'm sorry I behaved so bad. I really am. I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. It's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure! I need three Philly goats. Archie, yeah. Luca, you in? Yeah! Tell us the story of the three Philly goats gruff. Gruff! Three Philly goats gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass. The little goat spied a field of grass on the other side Cross the bridge and you pay a toll Not with coins, you feed the troll Oh, oh my. my! The three billy goats gruff were very scared of the troll But they were also very hungry Little billy goat gruff just couldn't wait any longer <laughs> So off he went I may be scared but I'm hungry too And look at all the As the billy goat trip trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said, Who's not trip trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws. It's only me. You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, beat it, kid. <laughs> now Middle Goat was next to cross, and off he went trip chop. But on the bridge, the troll appeared. There's a tasty chop. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that uh, sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm almost skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball. Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> So the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's big billy goat, you hairy monster. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you, goat, to 
across my path! My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns <laughs> and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge, never to be seen again. So now I'll see my brothers too and we'll eat until we're fat. We tricked that troll with a plan, you see. What do you think? Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Mr. Lion? Uh, there ought to be a law! Oh, sorry, I, I hope I didn't hurt you! The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse! Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed! You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea! I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free! <laughs> oh, please! I'll be your best friend! Well, I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice, mousey. <laughs> <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion, see? Friendship is a gift that always sets you free! So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Come on, Joey. Tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, because, because... <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks. In the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there. I'll be quiet as a mouse. Oh, the three bears. Right through the door went Goldilocks. And what did she first see? A table full of scrummy food. Yum! Porridge! One, two, three. Oh! But the first one was too cold. Ooh! And the second one was too hot. <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right. Mm. And she ate it all in a shot. Yummy! Three bear chairs inside the family room. Oh, hmm. 
The first chair was too big. Oh! <laughs> oh my! And the second one was too small. Oh! Too tight! But the third one was just right. Oh, this is the best of all. Oh! Oopsie Daisy! Oh my! When she plunked into the chair, it broke into a million pieces. My, look what I did! <laughs> oh, well, this adventure has made me so sleepy! I think I need a nap! Goldilocks climbed the stairs to a bedroom with three beds! <gasps> wow, look at that! I think I'll rest my head! <laughs> Don't mind if I do! <laughs> but the first bed was too lumpy! Squishy, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but the third one was just right. Oh, this will do. <sighs> While Goldilocks snored away, the three bears came back home. The front door was wide open. Oh, dear. It looks like we're not alone. Been eating my porridge. <gasps> Someone's been eating mine too. And somebody's finished my every drop. That was mine, thank you. Oh dear. Hmm. Someone's been sitting in my chair. <gasps> Someone's been sitting here too. Uh oh. Guess what? My chair is broke. And that was good bamboo. I think I hear something upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And wouldn't you know it, mine too. And someone's been, look, she's in my bed. Oh dear, who are you? Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for everything. Goldie raced into the woods and hid from everyone. The bears could not believe their eyes. The bears could not believe their eyes. That really happen? <laughs> no, it's just a fairy tale. Oh, but where are the fairies? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Once upon a time. No, wait. Okay. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Three little bears went out to play. I'll build a house of straw today. Said one little bear and just like that. He built that house and then he took a nap. But a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in! Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Instead of straw. Out to play went two little bears. My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear, and just like that, he built that house and then he took a nap. But once again, that mean old wolf woke him up. I'm a big bad wolf and I see you there. Open the door, little bear, be he pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Oh, no. No. oh I 
guess we're going to have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks. Said the third little bear and just like that she built that house and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up. I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin! Then I'll huff, then I'll puff, then I'll blow your house in! And he tried, and he tried, and he tried again! <gasps> Sheesh! Get a hold of yourself! <gasps> Did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh, Daddy. Would you look at that? Ooh. Listen to this show. Okay. And this one too. I can hear the ocean. <gasps> and wait, it sounds like baby sharks. <laughs> Listen. Let me hear. <gasps> oh. They're saying just rub the two shells together. <gasps> You 
are, my little adventurers. Here we are. <laughs> Goodness gracious, you're all wet. Wherever have you been? Um, oh, we've just been swimming <laughs> in our imagination. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was it. 